Take one. Well, the Silverstone GP is uh, quite a unique GP. Obviously, for me, it's my, my home GP. And the circuit layout is, is basically a Formula One circuit. Of course, we go there as MotoGP, but the track is difficult. It's based around F1, so they do a lot of laps there. And it's for this reason, it's very bumpy. They've re resurfaced it now, so obviously that's a, a bonus for us guys on, on two wheels. The layout of the track, the first kind of third of the lap is fast, flowing, uh, all kind of third, fourth gear. It's actually really, really nice on the Moto3. Then you get to the middle part of the section after the, the back straight, what they call the hanger straight. This part is quite tight. It's, uh, you have a first gear chicane, which even on a small Moto3, it feels tight and very slow. And then the second part of the track, again, is fast. You have quite a few back, well, two back straights, um, which link, kind of link into each other. And the final, very final section is called the, like, the stadium area. Um, it's quite a unique place because come the, the last laps of the races, lots of uh, passing opportunities there. My favourite spot on the track has to be turn two and three because for me it's on corner entry, it's the fastest part on the whole lap. You need to take a lot of risk going into turn two and if you make uh, the entry to two perfectly you can take a really nice turn three. So for me that's the area that you can win the most time and I really enjoy it. For me the home GP is such a special event. It's one of them where the fans obviously give you that extra positive vibe because you're going around and there's more, more flags waving and more people cheering than any, any other uh, race on the calendar. It's a bit strange for me because it's my home GP, but it's actually quite far. I have to like drive maybe seven or eight hours to arrive on the track. It's the longest uh, lap on the whole GP calendar. So from all the, all the circuits, that's the longest one. So I remember the first time I went there, it took me like two or maybe even three sessions to actually just learn the track. So it's one of them, there's a lot of uh, blind corners, so you have to have a, a lot of good reference points and you need to know the circuit well to be able to go fast there. I guess home needs to be, yeah, home is the, the one word to describe Silverstone.